What's going on YouTube? What's goody gotty? You already know who it is. Brand new video for you guys today. So I was request to check out this video. It's called Top 20 Greatest Mortal Kombat Characters of All Time. Listen now, everybody has different opinions. Everybody like who they like. When it comes to things, some, something as simple as uh, condiments, you know what I mean? Like what you like on your burger or whatever, stuff like that. Some people like ketchup, some people like mustard, some people like both relish, whatever, right? The damn uh, special sauce from Good Burger. You know, I'm making a Good Burger, man, check your order. You know what I'm saying? That type of thing. Um, but on here, you can, go up with, you can go up with me all you want to. Listen. People give him so much, like, flack. You know, they just they just can't give him a break. Like, he's you know, he's ugly, blah, blah, blah. Shut your mouth because if you, you would not want to piss him off. That's all I got to say. Baraka, Melina, put her back on the game. Um, Scorpion, Liu Kang, Reptile. But anyway, we'll talk more about this at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and check this out. This is from WatchMojo.com, so I'll leave the original link in the description. Technical damn difficulties. Anyway, as I was saying, let's check it on out. About a three, two, one. Today, the characters of Mortal Kombat face a different kind of challenge. Right. Facing number one on this list. That's right, I'm Ricky with WatchMojo, and today Ricky we'll Ricardo. be counting down our picks for the top 20 greatest Mortal Kombat characters of all time. Let's see. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're ranking Mortal Kombat's most iconic, memorable, and downright kick-ass fighters. We're basing our picks based on how popular and prominent these characters are throughout the MK series. Okay. All right, let's fight. Let's see. This is where you fall down. What the hell? Where do you get these guys? <laughs> what was that? Number 20, Cyrax. Oh, yeah. Look how cold he's looking in the game, y'all. Resembling a predator crossed with a hint of Boba Fett, Cyrax is basically a robot assassin with a black belt and kicking ass. It's and amazing how the graphics orbits. have changed over the years, like from that to Mortal Kombat 11. Created to track down Sub-Zero, Cyrax attempts to accomplish this task by blending martial arts, weaponry, and a self-destruct fatality, although his final attack is replaced by a more practical saw blade in Mortal Kombat 9. If a 10-year-old kid was asked to imagine the absolutely coolest fighter, Cyrax would probably be that fighter. Yep, and he got the Predator dreads, you know. Hey. Number 19, Noob Sabot, yep, aka Bihan. Oh, Sabot. I keep saying Sabot. My bad. While operating under a different name, Noob Sabot has been around since the series' very beginning. Serving as the original Sub-Zero, Bihan's many years as an assassin left the killer stripped of any mercy or kindness. Bihan? His yes, out, his costume, man. all that. I, Quan Chi restored awesome. me. After succumbing to the hands of Scorpion, Bihan is revived as the bloodthirsty Noob Sabot, a pure evil warrior desperate to rule the world. Along with having an incredibly brutal moveset, even by Mortal Kombat's oh, yeah. bloody standards, Noob Sabot's name pays Never homage to Ed Boon and John Tobias, the franchise's co-creators. Look at that! Look at his Number 18, get up! I, that reptile. They need to put his ass back on the game. I told y'all, y'all be hating. The first in a long list of hidden characters, Mortal Kombat's Green Ninja started out as a palette swapped version of Scorpion and Sub Zero, before ultimately growing scales and razor sharp teeth. I will tear your flesh. While typically aligned with the main villains, Reptile is one of the purest characters on the roster, as the warrior only wishes to save his homeworld. Reptile arguably peaked in the first Mortal Kombat, but the hench lizard earned his spot as a recurring character. Yes! Now bring him back. Oh, that's 17. Gross. Goro. Goro, yes. I had a hard time dealing with his Kombat ass last as game. a secondary boss. Goro answers Midway's call for a big hulking monster capable of tearing the rest of the roster in half. You think? Oh my god, look at that. Face Buster, damn! Designed using stop motion, Goro makes up for a lack of personality with a vicious moveset created specifically to reduce opponents into mush. Oh, As yeah, far as terrifying and powerful monsters in go, combat Goro pack? is simple but effective. Sindel. I did not expect to fight in this tournament. 
But eventually, even the Shaolin produce a warrior worthy of the Shogun. Number 16, Shaolin. In a universe where pulling spines out of Kano. bodies is a common occurrence, yeah. most mm. characters are willing to shed a few All liters right. of blood. Despite never serving as the main antagonist, the Black Dragon's Kano may just be the vilest fighter to grace the series. Wins. Equipped with an awesome Terminator eye, Kano has yet to find a back not fit for stabbing. While a capable warrior, Kano's personality is difficult to pin down. Depending on the situation, the mercenary can be cruel, cowardly, or darkly comical. All we know is that Kano keeps fans on their toes. This law and order really does that to him. Nah, but now he's motivated. Number 15. Is that an Australian Baraka. accent? <laughs> See? Told y'all. An interesting backstory or fun personality are more than welcome. However, a cool design goes a very long way in Mortal Kombat. Armed with sharp blades and even sharper teeth, Ooh. Baraka comes across as a more grotesque version of Nosferatu, which is far from an easy feat. He kind of looked like him too. Destroying your future, crossing Shao Kahn. Although the villain tends to feel like a henchman rather than anybody truly significant, Baraka's Tarkatan blades make for an enjoyable weapon, ones that are ideal for creating delicious fatalities. Yes. Look at that. Oh, he will put a number 14 against Malin. Shang Tsung. I am Shang Tsung. In the coming days, each of you will fight. The original Big Bad, Shang Tsung slips seamlessly into the role of the sinister old man with a propensity for theatrics and questionable hygiene. Shang Tsung's greatest trait is an ability to shapeshift into yep, the other I fighters. Stand Although it. this move's flexibility varies from game I would game hate to when game. he do that shit. Cause it's like with your character, he fight better, better as you than as you. Boss, Shang Tsung prefers to like, approach battle hell? strategically and acts as an interesting counterpart to the brutal Shao Kahn. Though perhaps he's best remembered by his portrayal in the 1990 film by Kari Hiroyuki Tagawa, a role he got to reprise in the most recent Mortal Kombat 11. That's awesome. Welcome, traveler. I am Shang Tsung, and this is my island. Number 13, Jax. Yeah, I like Jax too. A stern military dude with a talent for ripping limbs from bodies, Jax looks, acts, and plays like a straightforward bruiser, which is hardly a bad thing. While Jax's design is fairly simplistic in Mortal Kombat 2, the later games provide the soldier yeah, he a looks cybernetic super makeover to complement the character's beastly fighting style and readiness to go the extra mile to get the job done. Damn. Oh my god. That's just sad. Jax wins. Since 2011's Mortal Kombat, Jax and Ermac have enjoyed an entertaining rivalry. Ermac. Gotcha. Number 12, Melina. Huh? Sister. As a clone of Edenia's princess, Melina's entire existence threatens to be defined solely by an undying hatred for Kitana. Although the female fighter is initially consumed by this rivalry, Melina grows exponentially over the years, occasionally even managing to outshine Kitana. Let us be a family. Let us dance. You are not my family. Often entering fights dressed in virtually nothing, Melina's beauty masks an untamed and animalistic essence, both literally and figuratively. Melina is more than just a killing machine with a revealing wardrobe. I cannot and a face stand the war nasty love. ass. Ew. Ew. Disgusting. Number 11, Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn! the Elder Gods in their tournament. I should have taken Earthrealm by force. Reigning over Shang Tsung, Goro, Kintaro, and nearly every other major villain, Shao Kahn is the closest character to a main antagonist in the franchise. Blending overwhelming strength, proficiency in magic, a really huge hammer, and a habit to taunt his opponent during a fight, Shao Kahn earns his nickname of the Yeah, Conqueror. I really liked his reveal trailer too. He really, really fucking shit up like sent dude head right through his ass. Instances when the or close to playable, it. Shao Kahn proves to be just as gratifying to control as the villain is to fight. Mm -hmm. Number 10, Sonya Blade. <laughs> Starting out as Mortal Kombat's token female fighter, for better or worse, Sonya Blade is arguably the original game's most normal combatant. 
A special forces operative with a no bullshit, albeit impulsive temper, Sonya acts as a grounded counterpoint to characters like Raiden and Johnny Cage. Oh. Ooh. I don't Dang. need an escort, and I'm sure as hell not your baby. Even if the soldier's costume frequently fluctuates between conservative and skin-tight attire, Sonya's badass nature has never disappeared. While many other deadly women have come and gone, Sonya continues to persevere. No pressure, no romance. Patience is a virtue, Cage. Number 9. Kenshi <laughs> Despite the sixth generation entries introducing dozens of fighters, memorable new characters are few and far between outside of the original trilogy. That being said, Kenshi is an exception. Sento contains the souls of my ancestors. They guide me. Seeking revenge on Shang Tsung, Mortal Kombat's nimble swordsman boasts a fantastic design that would not look out of place in a good Star Wars film. Utilizing a mix of telekinetic and spiritual expertise to supplement the loss of eyesight, Kenshi is a katana-wielding warrior on a mission hey. to protect the Earth Realm from evildoers. Damn, he fast! Essentially, you can't even Kenshi get up. is a superhero. Oh, Number eight, God, that looks painful. Kung Lao. Yep, I like Kung Lao too. Pacifism has no place in Earth Realm. So this well-intentioned Shaolin monk must forego a quiet life in favor of cutting people in half with a razor-rimmed hat. In the original timeline, Kung Lao has no tangible goals besides a desire for peace, while 2011's Mortal Kombat highlights the monk's similarities to Liu Kang by foregoing a rivalry between the two. Notice that I am ignoring you. Although more than capable as a martial artist, Lao's hat tends to hog the limelight. Few weapons are as remarkable as a metal-plated sombrero of death. I like Quan Chi though. Where did his done. ass go? Number 7. Katana <laughs> Debuting alongside Melina in the second game, Katana delivered female ninjas to Mortal Kombat and seems unlikely to ever leave. What the hell? Katana Was that in a fat talent? Wound as a child by Shao Kahn, <laughs> Katana eventually on, breaks now. free of the Conqueror's grasp and sets out to exact revenge on the arrogant villain. Be it Quan Chi or Sindel, many of the series' major antagonists are linked to Katana, so Edenia's princess is both popular and important. From this day on, may all our peoples fight together as one. Unity. Number 6. Raiden. Oh yeah, Raiden is a bad mother shit. Has any other character gone through as many changes as the God of Thunder? In the first game, he was little more than a throwaway villain, but was retconned for Mortal Kombat 2 and for the rest of the series as the protector of the Earth Realm and is even temporarily promoted to an Elder God, although the reboot timeline reverts the Electrifying Warrior back as a lesser god. Your amulet. It is nothing, Liu Kang. The tournament begins. Loosely inspired by Big Trouble in Little China, Raiden fires bolts of lightning at his enemies and has a knack for flying tackles. That move frankly never gets old, but what the hell is he saying? Number 5. Cassie Cage Let's go, Dad. Breaking your old man's heart. And maybe your face. Ooh. Debuting in Mortal Kombat X as the daughter of Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade, Damn. Cassie has the requisite charisma to assume the role of the franchise's story protagonist. Blending Sonya's military training with Johnny's endearingly flashy nature, Cassie pays homage to two legacy characters without feeling derivative of either. I need to kick the CEO's ass, ma'am. Your ass, ma'am. <laughs> All right then, Sergeant. Along with being quite likable and entertaining to control, Cassie's sure. fatalities just about fall on the right side of Cheesy. A quick warning, Cassie's nutcracker attack may force male players to cross their legs and wince. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was a bit much, and I don't even have those, but damn, Jesus. Number four, Johnny Cage. You fought well. Thanks. Nice hat. Based on Jean-Claude Van Damme, Johnny Cage can always be relied upon to inject some much-needed humor into proceedings. Oh, yeah. That being said, Johnny is much more than a one-liner dispensary with a radical fashion sense. Whew, that was unpleasantly cold. Arguably the original Mortal Kombat's most complete character, Johnny's personality is reflected through his chosen wardrobe, fighting style, and taunts. While Johnny has matured slightly over the years, the charismatic actor has retained his penchant for self-flagellation. Dad always said, hungry people eat lunch, humble people serve it. Dad was an asshole. Hollywood made us an even bigger one. 
Number three, Liu Kang. For quite a lengthy period, Liu Kang acted Liu as Mortal Kombat's mm -hmm. de facto protagonist, a role more than fulfilled by this Bruce Lee inspired Shaolin monk. Oh, he done turned himself to an elder god like that. Silver hair and all. for newcomers, but suitable for veterans, Liu Kang is a well rounded fighter oh, who also Lord. happens to be able to shoot fiery dragons. You want the enemies. dragon out? Initially coming across as somewhat of a boy scout, Liu Kang eventually shakes things up by becoming a zombie in the original timeline and the leader oh, of the Netherrealm. Oh, he was looking for brains. I didn't know that. Timeline. Number two, Sub Zero, aka Kwai Liang. Let us proceed then, Sub-Zero. Not to be mistaken with the original Sub-Zero, Kwai Liang dons the iconic blue uniform to exact revenge on Scorpion for killing Bihan. Specializing in ice attacks, Sub-Zero takes a while to break out of his shell, but the initially cold hero gradually evolves into the Earth Realm's beacon of strength and determination. My brother participated in this folly. I do so only to face his gonna be number one. Whether performing the role of a hero, Quan Chi's unwilling subordinate, or a cyborg, Sub-Zero making an appearance is always a joyous occasion. Frost is strong, but lacks judgment. She cannot see the wisdom of peace. I will deal with her. Number one. Scorpion. I knew it. Get over here. There's a reason Mortal Kombat's supposed protagonists tend to be absent from the covers of the numbered games, and that reason is Scorpion. As a violent ninja from hell who refuses to pledge allegiance to any ruler, Scorpion is the franchise's quintessential anti-hero, someone willing to perform vile acts for the greater good. The new Shinite are you, are worthy. It's heart, not blood, that makes them warriors. Usually assuming only a minor role in the main campaigns, Scorpion's own quest for closure has been a frequent high point throughout the series. Mortal Kombat without Scorpion just feels wrong. True. Get over here! That is everything, every time. Well, you know, I was honestly surprised that uh, most characters I said at the beginning of the video was in this video. So, you know, some people, they like I said, some people they hate. They hate on people like Baraka and the rest of them. Some people I feel like, you know, ain't get as much shine. But, I mean, I could be wrong. I just don't hear as much about them. You know, we know, we're like, the main characters, like the Liu Kangs and the Scorpions and Sub-Zeros, you know, new Saibots, all that. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we all have our favorites. But that was a cool little video. That was 20 greatest Mortal Kombat characters. Man, time has just flown on by. We sure have a legacy of the Mortal Kombat universe, family, legacy, all that good stuff. But with that being said... Please, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Go ahead now. Don't leave me hanging, okay? Comment below what some of your favorite Mortal Kombat characters, whether from this list or your own list. Let me know. And uh, if there's anything I can react to for you guys next, please let me know in the comment section. Subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram. Hit that notification bell so you guys can have a video up and loaded. Taylor Rain, I'm out this thing.